Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the parenchyma, which is a type of permanent tissue. First of all, an outline of permanent tissue. These are of two types, simple and complex. If single type of cells or one type of cells are present in permanent tissue, it is considered to be simple type. And if more than one type of cells are present in that permanent tissue, it will be considered as complex type. So simple permanent tissue are of three types, parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. While the complex permanent tissues are of two types, xylem and phloem. Now the parenchyma. Parenchyma is a simple permanent living tissue made up of thin walled similar isodiametric cells. It is most abundant type of plant tissue. Important characters are cell wall. It is thin and made up of cellulose. Intracellular spaces. These may be small to large. Vacuole. Vacuole is large central vacuole with peripheral cytoplasm containing the nucleus. And the plasmodesmata. It is present between the cells forming the symplasm or the living continuum. Now the functions of parenchyma. It is unspecialized tissue that forms ground tissue of soft or non woody areas of a stem, leaves, roots, flowers, fruits, etc. It is found in epidermis, cortex, pericycal, medulla, mesophyll and pulp of fleshy fruits, embryo and also the endosperm. So in all, it is a very common type of simple tissue, simple permanent tissue. Typical functions of parenchyma are storage of food, slow conduction of various substances, usually radial or lateral conduction, and it also provides turgidity to the soft parts. Parenchyma may be modified to perform various functions like prosenchyma. When the parenchymatous cells become elongated and fiber-like with thicker cell wall to provide rigidity and strength, it is termed as prosenchyma. Next is chlorenchyma. Parenchymatous cells of young stem and leaves possess a large number of chloroplasts and start performing the photosynthesis. Such type of parenchyma is said to be chlorenchyma and the chlorenchyma of leaves is termed as mesophyll, which is differentiated into two types, palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma. Next is arenchyma. Parenchyma in aquatic plants are filled with air in intracellular spaces to provide aeration and buoyancy. Such type of parenchyma is said to be arenchyma. Next is storage parenchyma. Parenchymatous cells storing food material, as we can see in the potato tuber, is termed to be storage parenchyma. Water storage tissue. In those plants which are succulent type like xerophytesum, parenchymatous cells store water in large vacuoles in succulent plants like aloe, opuntia, etc. Edioblast. Large size non-green parenchymatous cells that store tannins, gums, resins, oils and calcium oxalate crystals are said to be edioblast. Cutinized parenchymatous cells may also form a protective covering layer or epidermis over the soft plant body parts. So this is all about the parenchyma. Thanks for watching this video.